When FBI agents searched Mar-a-Lago, they found top secret documents and dozens of empty folders marked classified inside former President Trump's personal office. That's according to a new, more detailed inventory of exactly what was seized. A federal judge unsealed the list today as part of the ongoing court battle between the Justice Department and Mr. Trump's legal team. The listed items were found in Mr. Trump's office and a separate storage room. In total, agents recovered 48 empty folders that had once contained classified documents and another 42 empty folders with labels that instructed the user to return them to a staff secretary or military aide. It's unclear whether that means those documents are missing. According to the DOJ, during the search, the feds were able to find more than 100 sensitive documents, some of them at the highest levels of classification possible. Overall, at Mar-a-Lago, agents found 18 documents marked top secret, several of them in Mr. Trump's office, 54 documents marked secret, 31 documents marked confidential. According to the court filings, the FBI found all of this classified material in Mar-a-Lago after the Trump legal team claimed that they had combed the premises in detail and turned over everything in response to a federal subpoena. Former President Trump's own attorney general, Bill Barr, appears to be siding with the Justice Department. On Fox News earlier today, Barr defended the FBI's search. He said Mr. Trump had no legitimate reason to have that stash of classified material. People say this was unprecedented. Well, it's also unprecedented for a president to take all this classified information and put him in a country club, okay? And how, how long is the government going to uh, try to get that back? You know, they jawbone for a year. They were deceived on the voluntary uh, actions taken. Uh, they then went and got a subpoena. They were deceived on that, uh, they feel. And the record, the facts are starting to show that they were being jerked around. And, and so how long, you know, how long do they wait? The FBI also retrieved more than 11,000 government documents and photos that did not have classification markings, along with magazine clippings, clothing and gifts that were found in containers with classified documents. Mr. Trump's spokesman is calling it a smash and grab. He says the list is proof that the search was not surgical or confined. Let's now bring in Carol Lamb, former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of California. Carol, this new list, how much more does it tell us about where the investigation could be headed? Well, what the, what the new list tells us is that it, it breaks down a little bit more uh, than the original inventory that was shown to us. This is a detailed inventory that was prepared by the Justice Department at the judge's instruction. And what, what it says is that it, it tells us more about where documents, where particular kinds of documents were found, which ones were found in the president's office and which ones were found in the Mar-a-Lago storeroom. But the picture that was released with the government's uh, pleading is remarkable because it now shows the American people that that what these classified documents look like. It's not just a little word classified in the corner, but in fact, it's a very boldly colored cover sheet that, that shows you what a classified document is. There's no mistaking here that these documents were classified. Well, Carol, Trump's lawyer, Chris Kyes, argued in court yesterday that this isn't a case about some low-level Pentagon staffer sneaking out military secrets in a duffel bag, but about presidential records in possession of the 45th president. Is there any merit to that argument? When somebody as uh, staunch a defender of presidential rights as Bill Barr, the former attorney general, comes out and says, and this is her, his word, he says this was an abuse by the former president to take these documents from the White House to, as he puts it, a country club. No, there's really no defense there. Anybody who has ever dealt with classified documents understands that these documents shouldn't have been loose in the White House, much less having left the White House, much less having gone to Florida and being in a private residence um, where people were apparently had access to these documents. And I think these empty folders that say classified documents on it, I think the concern there is when you marry that with the evidence that the FBI apparently has, that there was some intentional moving around of documents to, to hide them. I think that is the cause of concern here. Empty, empty folders that say classified, we shouldn't speculate on where those went, but it's, it's the increasing facts that are coming together that seem to, seem to suggest uh, that there was some sort of malfeasance going on here.